Hey guys, welcome to our letter E video. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some art, activity, snack, book, and sensory ideas for the letter E. So let's go. Starting with art, the first idea I have is to paint an egg. For this egg to give the shell a crackle or kind of a rough look, you'll want to let the children draw with a white crayon on the egg before you start painting. And then you're going to take paint and put water with the paint to water it down. It'll create a unique look on the egg to give it a shell type look. Make sure when they are drawing with the crayon that they are pushing hard enough to get the crayon onto the egg. Next is a letter E picture. For this picture, you're going to find all kinds of things that start with E. Some of the suggestions I have are elbow macaroni, egg noodles, elastic, or I used rubber bands, some Google eyes, and even some pictures of some ears. These are just a few examples. You can also add any other E items you think of. The next art project is to make an earth. For this, you're going to have a sheet of paper with a circle and the word earth typed above it. You're going to want two of these so you can cut out the circle, and then you will paint the cutout circle blue. Once that's dry, you will tape it to the bottom of a box and sprinkle some green paint over it and let the children move the box back and forth using a golf ball to put some green on their earth. Once it's dry, you can glue it back on the sheet of paper with the blank circle and they have a nice earth picture. Next, paint with Easter eggs. For this picture, I used a picture of an egg and then would give the children Easter eggs to paint with. If you have varying size Easter eggs, that's nice to add a different size circle to the picture as well. And lastly, this one can get a little messy, but the kids will love it. It is to elbow paint. You'll put paint on a piece of paper and let them use their elbow to paint a picture. Again, this is a little messy, so you'll have to help them, but it's fun. For activities, the first thing you can do is have exercise time in your classroom where you lead the children through simple exercises like touching their toes, reaching for the sky, twisting, sit-ups, maybe some squats, anything you can think of that would be a simple exercise. Another activity you can do is take Easter eggs and hide things in the Easter eggs for the kids to find. If you wanna make it more letter E related, you could hide things like erasers like I did, or if you have small animals like elephants or elastic or elbow macaroni, whatever you want to hide in the egg that they could find that starts with the letter E. You could either do this by having an Easter egg hunt and letting them find the eggs, or just having them in a bin where they have to go through the Easter eggs and find the things that start with the letter E. The next activity is one I showed you before when we were talking about the farm. You're going to take Easter eggs, put uppercase and lowercase letters on the top and bottom half of the Easter egg, and let the kids put them together and match those upper and lowercase letters. This activity can work for many different themes, including the letter E. Next, elephant tracking. For this one, you're going to print out an elephant footprint, and then you're going to place them on the floor for the children to follow. If you can find a stuffed animal or a picture of an elephant, place it someplace in your school or at home, and then put the tracks leading to the elephant that the kids can follow. To make it a little more academic, you could put letters or numbers on these elephant footprints so that they can see the sequence of the letters and numbers as they're trying to find the elephant. And lastly, writing a note and putting it in an envelope. For this, the children will write a note or draw a picture for a classmate, a mom and dad, a teacher, whoever they wanna send their note to, fold it up and put it in the envelope and take it to whoever they wanted to write their note to. For the letter E, I have a few snack suggestions. The snacks for letter E include English muffins, eggs, I would suggest hard boiled, elbow macaroni, egg noodles, an eclair, and an eggplant. Just make sure you check for allergies to make sure that you can have these items in your classroom. For your sensory tub, I had three ideas. The first one is an eraser tub. I would buy small erasers to put in the bottom of my tub. The fun thing about this is they don't have to be like these erasers. They could even be character erasers or assortment of lots of different colored erasers as well. And you're gonna throw that in your sensory center for them to play with. Next, an elbow macaroni sensory tub. Noodles are really fun to play with. They make noise and they're fun to touch. And so just throw all of your macaroni noodles into the sensory tub with some scoops and cups and let them have fun. Another variation of this sensory tub is to use egg noodles instead of the elbow macaroni in the sensory tub. And again, just with scoops and cups that they can play with. A couple of book suggestions that I had for the letter E would be any books that are on the earth, along with any books on elephants. Thanks for watching those letter E ideas. 
If you want to see the letter D video, don't forget to check out this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more activity and art ideas on all kinds of themes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.